So welcome back everyone. Once again, this is Kevin from CSMI. Today going to share another video on hydraulic valve blocks. Um, there is a big uh, issue there with machines that have hydraulic valve blocks that leak. Or if you're going to do an upgrade, you have expensive high hydraulic valve blocks and you got cheap ones and you want to have something in between that can do the job properly as well as uh, give you the right amount of pressure and precisely control what you're trying to so you've got a nice smooth flow uh, on your sticks and your hydraulic operation. So it's taken time and we have developed two hydraulic valve blocks like this one is the six sport hydraulic valve block comes completely assembled with the servos and the servo bracket. What you see is what you get uh, of course, the fittings are optional if you want them. And then we also have a five port valve block and I'll explain why we made five and six port uh, only. We will be making some more, but this is where we started. Now, uh, the six port is actually designed so you have the boom, the stick, the bucket, quick connect and two auxiliary lines. You can use it for anything else if you decided uh, to use it for another application. Uh, they're quite compact. The actual valve block itself is about, uh, what do you got here? It's 120 mil. So end to end is 120 mil from here to here. The height is about 62 millimeters and the maximum width is 46 millimeters so it's quite compact um, in its size itself it's rated for about 75 bar pressure that's what we have tested it at and we haven't had any leaks um, at all um, the five port valve block was actually designed either for an excavator or a dozer so you have boom stick bucket and two auxiliary connections or you have a quick connect with one auxiliary connection uh, but the main idea why it was designed is for the dozer as an upgrade for the tilt kit. So if you're buying this uh, tilt kit, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get the valve block, you're going to get the cylinder, you're going to get the hose, and you're going to get two plugs which plug on uh, the end of the valve block either side. So whichever way you want to put your tank and your pump, you can put it on the opposite side to block it. All the fittings are available on the website. Uh, so. To make it easier, these valve blocks um, are quite well designed. They've got a high torque servo uh, built into them um, so that you can precisely control um, the fuel pressure where it needs to go on the cylinder. You're not struggling. And uh, it's got directional flow so you can connect the hose on either side. It doesn't matter because one side will be returned to tank and the other side will be pressure to expand the cylinder or vice versa to compact the cylinder or to compress it. It does have mounting holes at the bottom, which are M2, uh, but on the, ne on the next design, on uh, the version 2, we've got actual tapped holes, so you can actually use them for mounting, uh, mounting the, the bracket itself, so that um, uh, you, you can put a washer in and the valve block is actually floating, because uh, the whole mounting is going to come on the rear bracket. It's not hard to drill and tap, but you can also use these existing tapped holes if you really wanted to mount, mount it using them. So that's pretty much uh, it. One more thing is, uh, yeah, the, uh, we're using standard M5 connections um, on all of our valve block fittings. Um, you can buy the valve block by itself. It's much more cheaper if you don't want the, the servo connections and the bracket and stuff that you just want the valve block by itself. You can just get the valve block by itself, much more cheaper. But I would highly recommend getting it fully assembled as this makes your life a lot more easier. So as usual, if you have any question or comments, you can uh, drop a comment down or you can email us at info at CSMI and I'll put a link in the description where you can buy this. Thank you for watching.